Ben Shapiro had a conversation with Neil deGrasse Tyson about science because you know, conservatives care so deeply about science. This time the topic was specifically about transgender rights. He refers to it as transgenderism. And I'm guessing he was hoping that Neil deGrasse Tyson would go along with whatever narrative he was trying to push. And we know that Shapiro has not been so kind to the transgender community. So you can imagine what kind of narrative he's trying to push. But what I appreciated was how Neil deGrasse Tyson responded to Shapiro's statement in this video. Take a look. The argument is made that trans women are women, for example, and what that seems to mean is that trans women are identical to women. Now, if people want to say trans women are not biological women, obviously that is the case. But people don't seem to want to say that, although that is obviously scientifically true. Trans women are not biological women, biological women are biological women. But where are you going with this? What, 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 is your, what, is your, what are you trying to accomplish by asking yourself, is it science or is it not science? It's how it's but, people in society. But, but this is this is a perfect example of an area where suddenly it doesn't matter to say things that are just true. Like why is it why is it bad or wrong to uh, point let me, out? Let me, I have another way to to approach this. Um, I care what is objectively true in the world as a scientist. Um, but let me not say even as a scientist. I just simply care what is objectively true, and science happens to be a pretty potent path to invoke, to find out what is true. And so if people express themselves on a gender spectrum, and that is an actual thing in an actual society, if we have not fully explained that scientifically, that's an interesting frontier to study. If you wanna say it's only sociological, then it's the purview of the social sciences. I don't care who studies it. It's an interesting fact about society that's worth learning about. If to, to make it to fight someone and say it's not biological, it's just your this, it's, it's real and it's there. We've got some more clips from this interview, but Francesca, I want to go to you first. How did Neil deGrasse Tyson handle that? Were you were you in favor of it? Could he have been a little stronger? Um, and I, look, for me personally, I love the first reaction to Ben Shapiro's statement because it was like, where, "Bro, where, what are you, where are you trying to go with this? Like, what is your intention yeah. here?" Because that's that's really key in understanding the motivation beh- behind the framing and the line of questioning in this interview. Yeah. I also I love when he just like folds his hand and is like, his mind is just going to outer space, like. <laughs> Find the peace, Neil. <laughs> like you're hearing a lot of shrill nonsense, and he just like folds his hands and goes there, and then comes back with "You're right." An incredibly, very smart retort, which is, why? Why, mm-hmm. why are you obsessed with this? And that's the same thing with anti-trans extremists all the time. Is what's your point? Let's say you're correct, right? So. So what, mm-hmm. right? And, and the answer is, well, I don't, I don't know. I just, uh, 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 I want to keep people from living their truth. I want to keep people from accessing the same services. I want to keep people from healthcare. I want to make sure that there's more hate crimes against them. I want to send them to, uh, you know, uh, 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 camps so they can uh, reeducate themselves about what gender they really are and what, like, like what is the next level here, because that's what it feels like. And if you're so obsessed with it, do you have something to tell us? Do you like, do you also have feelings like you're in the wrong body? Like what? Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's similar to the mentality against same sex marriage, right? I think that there's an element to this where I don't I don't think elements of the right wing take the transgender community seriously in that they seem to think that it's some sort of lifestyle choice, right? Mm-hmm. And, and it's it's so odd. That's why they're so focused on the biological arguments, right? But biologically, it's a woman, it's a man, not a woman. Biologically, this, biologically, they're trying to like hone in on you know, in their minds, this perverse way of living and a perverse lifestyle choice that people are making. When in reality, that's obviously not the case. Who the hell makes a decision that 
basically makes them vulnerable to the worst forms of hatred, brutality, violence, discrimination. And also, yeah, why do you care? Like. If your whole ideology, and look, I think Ben Shapiro is actually different from other right wing media figures in that I don't think that for him, this is just a culture war to deflect from economic issues. Ben Shapiro was writing anti pornography books way before he was like a known figure, right? Like these are issues that he deeply cares about. But the question is, is the most backed up. I mean, I swear, if there's anyone who's more backed up than Ben Shapiro, I'd like to see him. I'm sorry. Well, like his whole thing is like, I don't know. I mean, he's got a wife, he's got kids. Like I've heard that the Proud Boys don't allow themselves to masturbate. Like I would argue maybe they're a little more backed up. But no, Ben Shapiro does seem to have some issues. Like the fact that he lost it over a Cardi B song and like the idea of women getting aroused like really offended him. Like there's something, there's something up. And and I would just argue that if the majority of your ideological beliefs revolve around denying others their rights because you disagree with their lifestyle choices, which have no bearing on your life, you gotta really rethink what your priorities are. You really do. There's something wrong with you if your political identity is about snatching rights away or denying rights to people who just have lives that are different from yours or identities that are different from yours. That's who Ben Shapiro is. I mean, I I keep track of his podcast. Like I'm curious, like what is he talking about today? And the majority of his content is, I don't like the way you're living. I don't like what you're rapping. I don't remember. He's like the woman from our HOA who's like constantly like snooping in on us and trying to figure out whether or not we're doing anything <laughs> right or wrong. Like just get out of our lives. Get out of our lives. And 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 it's also it is exactly you know Ben Shapiro is someone who trots out the Holocaust all the time. He talks about you know which is fine, right? But he weaponizes it against people like Ilhan Omar and calls them anti-Semitic whenever they criticize Israel, right? But like looking at his ideology, whose ideology is more in line with Nazism, right? Like people who say that everyone should live their truth and live the identity that they feel like they they want to live. And love who they want to love, or the person who's like, nah, uh, there's a right way and a wrong way. There's a pure gender and a not pure gender. That sounds like some Nazi crap, all right? Mm-hmm. So, like, again, and the last thing I'll say is I said this before on the show, and if you are obsessed with men, so called men, going into so called women's bathrooms, or dressing up as women, or pretending to be a woman in order to get a gold medal in an Olympic sport, because you know that just happens, you know, when you transition, suddenly you're really good at sports. Um, that's because <laughs> your little twisted, perverted brain, it would do that. Not because anyone else is a pervert, it's because you're a pervert. Because it would only occur to you, perverted cisgender dude, to be like, well, I could. I could just go up in a women's restroom and then I touch all the boobies. No, man, like that's no trans person thinks that. You think that. Because it's the same thing where this is so stupid. You know, whenever like men are like, oh, yeah, if, if I had boobs, I'd like touch them all the time. Like, do you, hey, as a woman, do you like touch your own boobs? Like, no, we don't. We nah, don't, actually. Kind of. Oh, <laughs> not, not on the show. Yeah, and, and, no judge, and no judgments if we do. But you know right. what I'm saying? Like, it's the same, it's just dumb cis gross logic. Yeah, I totally agree. <laughs> Look, I, I can't help myself. One more video, let's go to the next one. Okay, um, this please, is earlier please. in their conversation, let's watch. Uh, the, the argument that is typically made by gender theorists is that gender is entirely separate from sex. Uh, you, you've seen the argument made that it makes no difference on average if men are stronger than women are and that if we were to allow transgender women to compete with non transgender women, then this would somehow not disadvantage biological women. And this seems to me absolutely ascientific that if we're actually gonna have a discussion about gender and sex that that should be based in data, which suggests that mammals are in fact binary in terms of their sex, unless you have intersex birth defects typically or genetic defects. I'm happy to opine on this. Um, This only matters because today we segregate most, nearly all sports by gender. Otherwise, why do you even give a shit? (laughs) 
what's what someone identifies with. So this is we live in a free country, and with consenting adults and people free expression of who and what they are. Man, it's all love. I agree with you. I think it does matter what you teach that's your what children. And, and so there's the there's the, the the matrix of of you know what you are biologically, how you express yourself, who you choose as a sexual partner. If we actually live in a free country, as we tell ourselves, people's freedom to behave in any of those ways should not concern you at all. Nor are they requiring that you behave that way. Okay, well, this is for their own freedoms because well, we live in a free country. Look, I love that he uses the rhetoric that's typically championed by conservatives, you know, regarding freedom, and we live in a free country, and no one's forcing you to do this. I think that it's effective, and you know, if you watch the full conversation, Shapiro kind of struggles to respond to it. It's so big of Shapiro. I'm sorry, but just hats off. So Lil Ben Shapiro for having um, um, someone who actually believes that the the Earth rotates around Sun instead of the other way around, as many of my viewers probably believe, um, and that I know and I I, I know this might trigger some of the uh, flat Earthers out there, and I, there's I mean no offense to them, but uh, 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 you know like is it great? Like I love that he's got an astronomer. On. I like, know, that's just, I know. You know, and of course he's gonna lose. He just uh, he just lost, destroyed. Mm-hmm. Neil deGrasse Tyson destroys Ben Shapiro in that, and and again. Women's sports, look, women's sports, I will take you seriously on women's sports, right wingers. The day that you put women's sports on television, that's it. The day that you put it on television, I'll I'll believe that you care at all. The day that you're like, oh, we've never won a World Cup. We've won like four with the women's national team. Start caring about women's sports first, and then we'll talk about trans people. Yeah, by the way, one of our members wrote in and said, uh, you know, it's pretty rich of Shapiro to ask like an astrophysicist about like issues pertaining to like genetics and gender and all of that. You know, but but I, I was under the impression that all scientists are the same. All scientists study the same science, don't they? I mean, don't all scientists also look into why it is that women would uh, feel any type of arousal during uh, sex, <laughs> which I've failed to provide my own wife, and that's why Cardi B literally triggers me, and I'll do an embarrassing segment on it. Anyway, <laughs> that's who Ben Shapiro is. By the way, pay attention, he doesn't even blink when he's asking these insane questions. But I'm glad he had the conversation, because I enjoyed yeah. having uh, the discussion on our show, and uh, maybe he should have more scientists on. More scientists, less cranks. I think that it would do um, a world of difference for Ben Shapiro's show and maybe even Ben Shapiro's ideology. We'll see. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.